trying to bring everything but the hog guy. Think we eat nothing but grass, what you talking about? I'm about to jump into the whip and hit the whole foods early. Get everything to get that soul food working. Like mac and cheese, the collard greens, the black eyed peas, and get a roast of that tofu turkey. Got cornbread, even got stuff. Mashed potatoes so good, put your hands in it. Stream beans, and you know we got yams with it. Got so guys, welcome back to another video and thank you very much for the flame face having me back on our channel again. She's a glutton for punishment. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to be discussing February dairy. February dairy, as you all know, is about the month where the animal agriculture, the dairy industry obviously floods social media with positive statements about dairy so if you don't know about the things that go on in the dairy industry what actually happens is for three times daily out of seven out of nine months cows are strapped to milking machines and don't believe this myth that they're actually just have to be milked because in reality they have to be pregnant to obviously be milked just like a lactating mother and what milk is actually designed to do is to turn a 90 pound calf into a 500 pound cow within a year and also as well there's this myth that dairy isn't obviously really really animals suffer because in reality yes it does make them suffer because they go through things like mastitis because they've been obviously in these milking machines for all this length of time it leaches out into the milk actually milk is full of things like pus, hormones, oestrogen, progesterone and such likes and actually the pus cells that are legal in the UK are actually 400,000 per milliliter of milk can you actually believe that? and actually in the UK 5 million people are actually lactose intolerant absolutely amazing like I say and you think of it they tell us that we need calcium for obviously healthy bones and that doing that through dairy will get us that yet the countries with the highest milk and dairy consumption actually have the highest risk of osteoporosis so shocking to say the least guys it really really is and the dairy industry is actually a byproduct of the beef industry they actually work hand in hand because their baby is led, led away from birth the, the male's taken away because he's seen as nothing more than he's not any profit to the dairy industry so they're actually clubbed to death blunt force trauma to the head guys could you imagine that could you imagine your baby being taken away from you like I say the suffering that these cows go through seeing their baby being taken away from them and obviously the mother if it's a if it's a if she gives birth to a female they get back through the dairy industry the exact same thing that the mother does actually artificially inseminate it by a, a one of the farmer workers actually putting his hand up her anus with a metal rod full of bull semen so in the dairy industry they obviously call the apparatus a rape rack this is not vegans that's calling it that that is what the dairy industry call it because that's what it truly is guys so we're going to play a little descriptive game here so two means two obviously that means two coffees that means milk so two coffees with milk lots of milk uh, I'll let you think exactly what I was meaning there guys Look, use your imagination that's my description of what I think of the dairy industry <laughs> so earlier the flame face had actually suggested that we do five dairy free products to show you how great you can get on a vegan lifestyle without all that cruelty involved but me being the greedy shite that I am I just can't go for five because I've got that much I'm just a greedy shite so I've got tons here guys so first off I would like to say is almond milk by Alpro this I use in my tea absolutely delicious it's got quite a nutty flavour I use that in tea usually and obviously my cereals but for coffee it has to be the one and only Oatly Oatly is absolutely amazing it's got a very creamy taste it's great in your coffee it really really is guys I thoroughly recommend that obviously other plant milks are available cashew milk, oat milk, rice milk, almond milk, hemp milk just find the one that you fit like the best for taste and texture as well I would say the Oatly creamy 
oat actual single cream is absolutely delicious. Put this in your puddings, put it in your coffee for a really tasty, a real sinful treat in your coffee. This is what I would recommend. Oatly creamy, absolutely delicious guys as well. If you're liking a good milkshake, the one I usually go for is the soya strawberry flavour, which is absolutely delish. You can add that in and make even a kind of hot style chocolate in the microwave, which is amazing. They also have the soya chocolate one as well, which is delicious as well, guys. Otherwise as well, I would say what I do like in my puddings and such likes so if I'm doing like an apple crumble because most apple crumbles are actually vegan, they don't have uh, eggs or milk in them. Alpro Dairy Free Custard is absolutely delicious. I thoroughly recommend this. You can get this in Tesco's, Asda, Sainsbury's, most of your big supermarkets you'll get this guys. The next one I would say for the vegan cheeses, my favourite has to be the Tesco Free From range, Jalapeno and Chili Cheddar. Absolutely delicious. It's got that little spicy kick to it. None of the cruelty involved. Go and get this, smash it in. If you're liking a little creamy cheese, the one I actually go for recently is the Violife Creamy Original which is absolutely amazing. It's £2.50 I get this in Tesco's. I think you can get it in other supermarkets, but that's where I get it. Free from dairy, soy, gluten, lactose, nuts, and preservatives as well. Go check that out, definitely, guys. The next one, if I can think where I'm going here, obviously has to be Veganese from Follow Your Heart. Veganese Sriracha. This is the dog's box. Or should I say that? Is that very vegan? I'll just say it's it's good. <laughs> so yeah, soya free, gluten free, dipping sauce and spread sriracha veganese. Put that on your sandwiches if you're having like a tofu sandwich, some salad, put that on it, vegan burger, anything like that. The other one I would say is my favourite from the Tesco Free From range, gluten free, wheat free, milk free and egg free, the salad cream, absolutely amazing. They also have a mayonnaise one as well, which is absolutely great, so go check that out, I would say definitely. Next off, fucking catch my breath. Right, don't worry, we're getting there, is the puddings. Milk, gluten, wheat and egg free black currant cheesecakes from Tesco's, absolutely delicious, quite small, you need, a, they're in a two pack so I can easily go through the two, that's all I would say, is they're quite small but yeah, absolutely delicious, vegan cheesecake, you wouldn't know the difference guys. The next one in the pudding range is the Tesco free from milk, gluten and wheat millionaires. Dessert, absolutely amazing. Just look at it, guys. Absolutely great. Salted caramel layer topped with biscuit and a chocolate mousse ingredient. It's made with coconut milk. 100 grams contains 306 calories and it's VV vegan. And also, as well, the, the pudding range. Can you do a pudding range without the number one, the Ben and Jerry's, the peanut butter and cookies, and if anybody knows me, if it's got peanut butter in it, I'm in, I'm in, like Flynn. The Ben and Jerry's peanut butter and cookies, non-dairy, has got to be in there. They've also got the Chunky Monkey and the Fudge Brownie, and there's a few other flavours, but my favourite is peanut butter and cookies, the Ben and Jerry's. Whew. So next, the biscuit range, free from, gluten wheat free, wheat free, has got to be the jammy wheels. These are absolutely amazing guys, they are vegan, would you believe it? I thoroughly recommend you go and check them out, if you used to love jammy dodgers, these little guys, these are the bomb, they're vegan, one of my favourites. 
for a good little snack, dunk it in your tea, whatever, just get it in there. The next one is from Lazy Day Rocky Road Bites, made with Belgian chocolate. These are vegan, you get these in Sainsbury's, Little Rocky Roads, if I can show you these guys, if I can get them out the box. Do, 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 do. That's them there, if the camera will focus. Rocky Road, Marshmallow, lovely. Go check them out guys, they're absolutely amazing. And the next one is from the Asda range, the free from range, gluten free, wheat free, dairy free, egg free, thrive raspberry and coconut flapjacks. These are absolutely amazing. You remember you ever get these at school? They used to get them with the, the, your school pudding when you went for school dinners. Little jam sponge with the coconut and obviously you get the custard as well. So that's a little thing that you can obviously try out. These two together, I recommend fully. The last one has got to be the little sweets range. Dairy free chocolate raisins. Fabulous, fabulous free from factory with no other ingredients. Get it? Got it? <laughs> Good! No other, other ingredients. Chocolate raisins. These are absolutely amazing. Vegan on the back as well. And the last one would have to be to accompany that. The dairy free fudge from the same range. No other ingredients. Get it? Got it? Good. Get that shit in there. <laughs> Dairy free fudge, absolutely amazing guys. So I hope that I've covered a lot of dairy free things. Obviously if you would like me to do other videos on dairy free products, I can do that. But thanks very much for Flameface for having me on. It's been a great little collab. I hope we've given you some ideas. Please subscribe to myself and obviously the Flameface. What I say, well, she's done things on my channel. This will be over in my channel as well, so if you want to check it out on there, that would mean a lot. Remember as always, don't go February dairy, flood social media with obviously your, your protest against February dairy, showing them the cruelty to the, the animals for the dairy industry and show them the great things that we can get dairy free with no cruelty involved. Binge on life, purge negativity and starve guilty feelings and be kind to every kind. The only difference is your perception. Speak to you all soon guys. my lovelies I do hope you're well now if you're on Tofu Tommy's channel then I'm back again I was here recently but I challenged Tofu Tommy to pick five of his favorite dairy free alternative foods he ended up picking more than that <laughs> Tommy I'm gonna pick five because I can stick to the rules Tommy uh, that and you did actually pick quite a few of my favorites so I'd have to have to change around my favorites a little bit I want to firstly note that I'm not picking the favourite specifically on taste, I am taking into account the favouritism through not only taste but through the, the accessibility, you know, can you find this in the supermarkets, yes, then it becomes an, an easier favourite of mine. Vegan Called Quest also did a five favourite dairy alternatives on my channel for me, uh, you can check that out, I'm sure Tommy could put the link below in the description for me. So my ultimate favourite dairy alternative, I'm going to start with that one, okay, because I don't mess around. Okay, there needs to be no builder. My ultimate favourite is the Outpro chocolate soy milk. Damn, this oh it makes me emotional. I've got some in my fridge. I'm probably gonna go get some in a second because I, I love it so much. See, I used to love chocolate milk, but it would always make me feel incredibly bloated, so I couldn't really enjoy it. Or it came with a consequence that was negative. So yeah, it wasn't very fun for me. It turned out I was mildly lactose intolerant, probably because, you know, I'm a human being uh, who isn't a baby anymore. <laughs> but with this, it's so much lighter. It's really enjoyable. People who are not vegan, like my family, they enjoy it as well. It's just an awesome alternative. And I would encourage you instead of just picking up a chocolate milkshake, uh, just in the supermarkets, you'll find Outpro Chocolate Soya, both in the free from 
or long life milk section and you'll also find it in the free from fridge which is right near the dairy fridge so you can pick that up it stands out and it's really delicious and it won't give you really bad belly ache unless you are like allergic to soy or something but Alpro also do an almond chocolate one so if you are someone who can't digest soy then that's awesome it's, it, it's a dark chocolate flavor rather than just a chocolate flavor and that's why I don't really enjoy it as much as the Alpro chocolate soy even though I really do like dark chocolate but yeah anyway moving on I'm dwelling too much on the Alpro chocolate soy because I love it so much my second favorite is Bourneville chocolate as to the dark chocolate version of the Cadbury chocolate I think it's one of the only Cadbury chocolates that is vegan um, and it's just vegan because it's a dark chocolate um, it's an accidentally vegan product and you can find it in many shops and that's why I love it so much because I can just get it and it's really good for for melting to make like rice crispy cakes and it still has that familiar Cadbury taste that you can't really get if you're vegan because they're all dairy another one of my favorites is again chocolate I have a problem and it is a nature's store chocolate spread it literally tastes exactly like Nutella and that is why it's in my favorites just absolutely amazing exactly like Nutella I really can't taste the difference maybe it's been a while since I had Nutella but the minute I tried it I was just like well this is the same thing a fourth favorite is uh, when you have say like Tesco or Sainsbury's they do their own brand of cream cheese in the free from section you'll see it and I have Sainsbury's nearest to me so my most memorable one is the Sainsbury's cream cheese it is amazing. I grew up on with like Primula and had it, had it on crackers when I'd been good. <laughs> they're really cheap and they're their own brand and you'll find them in the free from fridge section with all the, the dairy free cheeses. Finally, I think it's only Tesco's who does this, but one of my favorite dairy free alternatives is the dairy free cheesy tortillas. Doritos do accidentally vegan crisps. Unfortunately two of my favorite flavors are not vegan. But those tortilla chips are very much like the tangy cheese version of the, the Doritos so I enjoy them vehemently. Everything I mentioned you could get exclusively from Tesco's. Everything I mentioned you could get from Sainsbury's bar the tortilla chips but I do think that a lot of Sainsbury's in the free from section do something similar but I haven't yet seen it. One thing that I've taken from this is that it was quite hard for me to actually pick, suggesting that there are a lot of dairy-free alternatives out there. So you don't have to miss out when you're vegan on the things that you love so much, on the things that you had maybe when you were a child. You don't have to just throw all of that away in order to be vegan. And that's a comforting thing. I will actually tonight, depending on when this gets uploaded, be on my channel uh, doing a live stream where I actually do an online shop I'm not actually gonna do one, I have no money, but <laughs> I'm gonna display an online shop on Tesco and go through all of the dairy alternatives that I can find to show the prices and how accessible it is in order to try and encourage people, even if they're not gonna go vegan, to just pick these instead. Anyway, I do hope you're well. Thank you for Sophie Tommy for having me on his channel and thank you as well for coming onto my channel. I do hope you're well. And until next time, I will see you soon. <laughs>